Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here, and uh, I'm about to do something slightly crazy. I've got eight 5,000 volt neon sign transformers wired in series. Heart's kind of pounding just a little because uh, it's a lot of voltage and it is kind of dangerous, and uh, I've never had these hooked up this way. I've had these transformers for a while and wanted to do this, but I haven't had a real reason to do it, and now I do. It's because I want to plasmatize some hydrogen. So, boom! There's my setup. There are quite a few of these things here. <clears throat> Eight of them to be exact. 5,000 volts a piece. And I've got a two inch gap there. I have not tested this yet. Um, I'm going to show you the label here. Alright, so they're all faded off, but this is 60, uh, 60 cycles a second at 300 volt amps, 120 volts at 2.75 amps, 5,000 volt out. And that's 60 milliamps there. So, got got a quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of voltage there. And uh, the reason for that is because I want to plasmatize some hydrogen with this thing. Um, one of my subscribers or somebody uh, I don't know if you've subscribed, but if you haven't, go do that. But uh, he told me that uh, hydrogen, you know, it's the same way as oxygen, which which makes sense. I just didn't really think about it yesterday. And uh, you have to have a certain gap, you know, to make that arc jump across there. Well, I probably didn't have enough voltage. He uh, calculated out to be about twice. So whatever the ambient air is uh, to jump that arc takes, uh, the voltage to jump that arc is going to be double for hydrogen. So if it's one inch for ambient air, you're going to need, uh, it's going to jump two inches in uh, the hydrogen. So that's kind of what he was telling me. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Good feedback there. And uh, what I want to show you real quick is I had a little boo-boo. I uh, This thing fell off the table with the hose connected. Broke right off. Yeah. So I went ahead and tapped this side too. So now I got nice little electrodes in both ways. You know, God, the, the, God does things for a reason. And he knocked it off the table for me. Uh, probably so I've got better electrodes now. <laughs> I felt bad if I broke it off on purpose, right? All right. Um... Oh, really quickly, I want to show you what I made this stand out of. These are um, little glass insulators uh, with brackets, and actually they're they're supposed to hold the bulbs that came out of these fixtures. These were f like white fluorescent fixtures uh, and big signs on the side of a building, and there's a whole bunch of them. So I got some of them, got that off the table so I can isolate the ground. Maybe there was a ground problem there. I don't know. But... Uh, all I know right now is I want to flip this switch, so let's do it. Here we go. Just so you know, this is 10, 20, 30, 40,000 volts. That's a good amount of voltage right there. So we got a 2 inch arc, spark gap there. 3, 2, 1. Oh. Man, it's buzzing. All right, I'm going to move this closer together. I'm just going to move it really close together so we can see if it jumps that arc. Oh, I'm smoking. Transformers are smoking. That's bad. I think that one might have a short in it. I was having problems with it earlier. Oh, maybe they're not insulated for this high voltage. Oh, well. Yeah, I got that in there pretty good. but We'll try this one then. All right, try this again. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I think that one's got a ground problem. What do you think? I'm going to move this away. See if I can't just leave it be. Ah, there we go. Now let's move her back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay. So, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut this off. Uh, I'm going to set the camera down. You guys are going to be bored for a second. Hold on. I can't edit the video on this camera right this moment. So, 
That's all I got for you. All right. Uh, 